Welcome back Team Tabletop. Today we're going to be opening up not one, not two, not three, but four secret layers today for everyone to enjoy at home. Okay, so the four that I got are from the uh, Valentine's Day special. And there's a couple of cool things about them. The first one is that, you know, we got the Helioid, we got all this sort of stuff. Galicia, along with Boros Charm, is like a special edition. However, we will not be getting the Helioid today because there was an error in manufacturing, which they have since fixed and redeemed themselves of. I even got a 25 euro coupon off the next secret layer that I'm buying, which I'll be able to share with all you guys back at home. So the first thing we're going to be opening up, clearly, has to be the Kaldheim Part 1 Secret Layer. There you go. The Secret Layers are pretty decent. They're overpackaged for what they are. There's only three trading cards in here. I'll have you guys know. So 13 and plus. You got your little zip tie here. Let's open it up. Ooh, yes. That feels amazing. All right, you open her up, and then you get the actual secret layer box. So a little sheet of paper here to protect it from transit damage. Very minimal cost to these people. You also have the nice little sticker at the back here, which is used to just hold everything together. I'm just going to rip it apart because this thing is tin enough as it is. Okay, there you go. And here you are, a secret layer drop series showcase. Kaldheim Part Uno. Alright. Opening it up is... Should be a lot easier. This one, none of the secret layers actually use magnets. As far as I know, anyway. I think this one has Velcro. Nope, it's just a tab here. Ooh, yes. Oh, yes. Pull her open. We also got a very banged up card in the back. Really? I don't know what bonus card this is, though. So, let's see what they gave us. Ugh, man. Damage. So much damage. Look at that. It's bent out of shape. Can't afford a freaking top loader, I swear. We got a nice island, though. I believe the main bread and butter is over here, however. Which we'll be seeing now. I'll be sleeving everything up after... After the entire thing. Just so we save on time. But yeah, we could look at that. We got a nice alternate art. Frost Titan there. Frost Titans are currently going for around, I believe, I want to say 10 euros. Because on card market. I'm just trying to remember. The Secret Lair itself, I think we bought for like 35 euro. And the price on card market currently for one of these is around 50 euros. There you are. Nice little nice Titan there. Primeval Titan as well. Actually, this makes, this reminds me a lot. Okay, so the Frost Titan itself is worth like a euro or two. The Primeval Titan is worth around 10 euros. And these are all prices for the regular versions, not the, uh, not the kick, not this version. I was going to say Kickstarter, but Secret Lair. And here is Uro in all his natural goodness and Kaldheim art. Wow. This one actually be worth a lot of money, if not for the fact that it got banned in standard and thus people are trying to sell off their copies of the game or of the card. There you go. Three very expensive trading cards. An amazing artwork over there. Let's move on to our second showcase, which is worth a little bit more, I believe. Right, so the thing about the this one is a Croxa's box costs five euros more. Also, all these things come with two code cards. One for Magic the Gathering Arena, which you can get sleeves and not the card for some strange reason. But inside Magic the Gathering Online, you are actually allowed to redeem these for playable cards, which I'm really happy about. If I played some uh, or Magic the Gathering online. The thing about this is that the codes themselves are worth quite a pretty penny. Two euros for a code for the skins and arena, and around five euros for the actual cards themselves. Or for the actual uh, Magic the Gathering arena code. Or Magic the Gathering online code. I keep getting those mixed up. Here we are. Second Calhoun. There we go. Open it up. Calhoun case two. There we go. You know, you can't buy these regularly on the card market because they just haven't listed them up at all. Let's see what our bonus card is going to be. Another land, I assume. Please don't be an island. And it is a mountain. Look at that. Secret Lair Mountain. Get out our cards. 
Take it out of the nice packaging here. Tree cards. Such a waste of plastic. And cardboard. Sure, it is what it is. Croxa, incidentally, is worth a lot more money now. Uro, I think, is worth 15-ish. Maybe a little bit more. But Croxa, I know for sure, is worth 25 euros. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. You guys see that? It's crimpled. Holy cr are they all like they're all like that. Freaking hell. Oh my god. This is so stupid. Look at that. They pay freaking 35 euros. For freaking cardboard, and they couldn't do this right. I'm gonna have to make a call to Wizards of the Coast, telling the guys my thing is actually crimpled. At the top. Oh Jesus! It's hard to notice without the light, but look at that—you can actually see the printer lines there. At any rate, the this one in particular is worth five euros online as well on the Imagine Gathering online code. It's around two euros for the actually this one's more expensive, isn't it? It's four euros actually for this one. For the sleeves of Magic Gathering Arena, Grave Titan currently going for around 8 euros. It's not too bad. Pearl Titan in and around the same price, a little bit cheaper. But Croxa, Titan of Death's Hunger, amazing card. Look at that. I like the artwork of this a lot more than I do the Croxa. This, the Uro, this one's worth around 25 euros currently, going a bit higher. And these are the alternate art versions, so I'm not too sure how much they are currently because there's no listing of them anywhere else in Europe. But I must remind myself that we have to get wizards to send us back. Send us some more of these. Jesus Christ, how could you damage this? Jeez Louise. First secret layer, and I'm already not very impressed. The next one I actually want to do is this. I know I said I'm not impressed, but like still. Some of these things I think is a nifty idea. Secret Lair should be a way to get easy commander staples into the hands of the players at the minimum amount of cost. That's my opinion on it. And yet... Man, they spent as much freaking time on their packaging ideas than they did with their quality control. None of this would be an issue for me. This is something that I think is extremely cool, by the way. One of the reasons why I wanted to buy this one was that we have the infatible crushing brutality of lands. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Then we always take it out. What we got? Can we get a plains? That was a swamp. Okay. Swamp's not too bad. I'm, I'm assuming that they're giving one different land to each one of the secret layers because there were five this time around. I only bought the four because I didn't... And there's a huge problem with the foiling of uh, Magic the Gathering cards. They tend to curl, and it hasn't been fixed. But with Strixhaven, Strixhaven cards have not bent at all, for me anyway. They, I think they fixed the issue now, but I don't know. I'm a little bit skeptical of their whole uh, foil option. For an extra 10 euros for foiling, I'm not too sure. This one, now. The code card. To get these sleeves online. You only get sleeves with these. It's really sad. On the Magic Gathering Arena. But look how cool that is. Freaking planes are amazing. Five euros. I think a bit more for the actual card. But yeah. So this one on the off the hand market is going for like 55 euros I believe. Last time I checked. And the cards themselves. Well they're lands. They don't have corresponding cost. Depends on the land. But usually negligible. Extremely. Only one copy of each one though. So we got like a planes. This one I bought for around 35, 40 euros, I think. It's pretty decent. I love the uh, I love the water one. The water one looks great. Oh, the swamp. The swamp is amazing as well. They're all actually really pretty. Got a nice little mountain as well. Skulls popping out. And then here we go. A freaking forest. If there was an option to buy like a whole set of these, like 10 of these, I think I'd be set for a while. I hardly ever use too many basics as I my decks. Anyway. Unless I'm playing a little bit closer to monocolored. Okay, the Valentine's Day one, the big one that they were hyping up. 
okay? Just asking you guys here, if you guys do enjoy the video currently, and want to see more Secret Lair stuff being opened, I am perfectly happy to oblige if you guys just send me some love via subscribing or leaving a comment down below. That will really make my day, and it will make all this video worth it. Can't wait to put these inside my commander decks out. It's going to be awesome. I want to use the lands, but I don't think the lands are going to be that great. I really don't like lands that are... But to be fair, I could just have one of different artworks and whatnot. I do play a lot of Wuburk. Have them all inside the deck. Why could you not offer me the chance to buy three of each of these cards, wizards? They actually did it. They, they did it with the next ones, the full basic lands as well. Except they have complete writing on them. And the writing isn't... Uh, I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest. I did, however, place an order for it. I think. I'm not too sure. I have to double check that. I did buy some of the new stuff, though. But we'll have a look. We'll have a look later. First off, let's get through this. Ravel Master. And what do we get underneath? Alright, make it a planes. Please be a planes. Or something we don't have yet. It is a forest. Okay. All right, look at that. We got, like, no dupes so far. On any of these. Oh, wow. One of each of the new lands. Okay. And now we have the Rabble Master. <laughs> Not the Rabble Master. All the cards. I'm sure Helioid isn't actually inside this one as well. Because they said they're going to be sending it out at the end of this month. And once it does come, I will... I'll take a look at making a video. Making a whole video based on one trading card is not great. I was thinking of uh, segmenting this entire thing as well to make it easier to search up. But I, I don't really like doing that. It just feels like a cash grab. It's a lot more admin on our side as well. Okay. You guys ready? We have a Goblin, Rabble Master. Pretty decent card. Going for around 8 euros, I believe. Pretty nice. Not too sure what this one's going to do now. This one's actually pretty neat. I like the... I really like... The design of these is so silly, but it works. I love things that follow a team. We got Monastery, Swift Spear. Not great. I'm not going to lie. This one's probably like worth probably next to nothing. Although a 1 2 with haste and prowess, pretty okay, I guess. Pretty okay. I do like the whole staff thing with the spear, with all the love hearts. It's pretty nice. We get one Boros Charm. Boros Charm is pretty decent. They recently got reprinted inside the, uh, Strixhaven Commander decks, I believe, so they've gone down a little bit again. So they're always ranging around one to two euros now. But this one has a giant shield with a freaking fist on it. Like it's going to shove it up your a-hole. That'd be nice. I mean, you know, it'd be nice for me to do it to someone else. I'm not too sure how I feel about getting my innards ripped out. And Gizia, <laughs> Blade of Midnight. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I like this card. Look, it's a giant baby with two swords and freaking love hearts coming out of it. What more do you want? Like, this is just cool. I like this stuff. People think it's like childish or it doesn't fit the team, but I'm like, oh, you know what? It looks great. I actually like unique things. And we get one goblin token with the hearts flying out of his freaking mouth. Look at that. This is to go with the goblin Marvel Master that we got earlier. We actually will be getting some more of these uh, goblin tokens. Funny enough, because it comes with the helioid when it comes as a... Uh, as a, as a I'm sorry gift. But if you guys are really sorry. Could you please... Just send me back a Crox. I don't mind sending you this back. Like, I made the video already. I'm perfectly happy with the quality that we've been doing. But I am not happy with the fact that this is, this is a thing. This is like the most expensive card out of all of it. And it has freaking marks on top of it. Oh, I swear. I swear. Now, uh, we're going to do one quick recap, everyone. I know some of you guys just want to watch to the very end to just see all the cards outright. Which is fair enough, to be honest. Goblin Rowmaster, Goblin Token, Gelsia, Blade of Gold Light, got a Boros Charm, Monastery's Foot Spear, got ourselves a nice Infernal Titan, Grave Titan, Uro, Titan of Natural's Wrath, or Nature's Wrath, and a Prime Evil Titan, as well as one Frost Titan to end off our video. All right, everyone. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up.
maybe even like it and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. It has been an absolute pleasure doing this with you all, and I hope to bring you more Secret Lair stuff as we go in the future. I'm going to go complain to some higher-ups at a, as a wizard now. Be like, oh, you... How dare you destroy my trading cards. Oh, yeah. Until next, everyone. Thanks for watching.